there is a brand new feature that Google just released on Gemini, and it is scheduled actions. They actually announced this a few months ago, and it is finally here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to access it, how to use it. It's very, very simple. And then I'm gonna show you a bunch of different ways and use cases that you can start using it right now to maximize your productivity, to maximize different things you do in your everyday life. So we are on gemini.google.com, and I am just showing you a chat I had, and I have simply sent me the weather for Toronto, Canada, and 10 bullet point form news items and sources every morning at 7 a.m. So it says, okay, we are going to schedule this for you, and it is going to be on your scheduled list. And we can see pause, we can also see edit. So we can give this a name, we can modify the name, and we can modify the instructions, we can even change where it happens. So this was just me playing around with it, I actually bumped it up to 2.30 p.m. And you can even select the days of the week. And now your prompt is going to run on the days you select, it's going to notify you on your phone and you're going to have whatever you told it to do happen every single time you want it to happen. There is a couple of caveats to this. Right now, you need an Android phone to set up scheduled tasks and you need an Android phone to view your scheduled tasks. So when you're on Android, you click your name in the top right, you're going to get a list of different things. You're gonna click the one that says scheduled actions. And from there, you can see the different ones that you have scheduled out with the option to pause or delete. Those are your two options that you have. But if you go back to desktop, you can actually edit it the way I showed you. If you try to do this on a desktop and you try to set up your scheduled task, it's going to say, hey, I can't fulfill your request. So you have to do this on the latest version of the Android Gemini app. Something also to note, and if you notice here, I said, hey, can you send me the stock update of Tesla for every 20 minutes? And it will say, hey, I cannot do that. The update frequency cannot be greater than once per day. So I eventually determine saying, yes, do it once per day. Something also important to note, you'll notice that the time is 1450 PM daily. So it is using military time in order for you to schedule out the time that you want. The next question is how does this actually work? So when you have it set up, it's going to send through a prompt for you on your behalf and it's going to bring back an answer for you. And then it's going to show a notification on your phone that you got back your answer. So you can see here, this one gave us back our answer based off what we requested. Now, before I go and show you the killer ways you can start using this in your everyday life, all these incredible use cases that you can use this with, I need you to click the subscribe button. I cover AI on a daily basis basis so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest AI content. So you can say, hey, give me a motivational quote every morning at 7 a.m. Or maybe you want to have the top three news stories just summarized and sent to you every day. Maybe you want to quiz yourself on JavaScript or a coding language, or maybe you want it to like remind you to teach you a language. So it's going to ask you little prompts on an everyday basis at a certain time that you want. And it's going to give you little quizzes based off whatever you want to learn. So for example, maybe you want a new vocabulary word every day at 6 p.m. Or maybe teach me about one new fact about and then you can put in a category and a time. What's cool about this is you can combine all these different ideas into one prompt and then have it send you all this stuff at once. So imagine like a morning routine where you want like the news, weather, and some other different motivational stuff to get you up and going in the morning. You can use it for your creative outlet. So maybe you want a creative writing prompt every single day. Or maybe you want to pose a journaling question or maybe something about self-worth. So it's going to randomly send you a prompt, a question about yourself and you can go through and answer it. So it kind of gets you thinking and reflection about who you are and things you have going on within the day. Maybe you're learning Swift and you want that good Swift challenge that you can work on on Tuesdays. Maybe you like to travel. You can also use it to search for a flight. So every day, every morning or maybe once a week or whatever you set it to, you can have it searching for a flight. When I mentioned that you can combine things, I like the idea that you can have like a personalized newsletter about topics I actually like and care about and want to read. And then I can even have it extract that data, extract the newsletter, and then make jokes about the sad state of the world. So it is able to make the newsletter, make the news a little bit more fun and readable. 
I know ChatGPT has had this feature for a while and it is good to see Google catch up in this regard. And it is interesting because ChatGPT is catching up to Google in other ways. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to leave a like on the video. It tells algorithm you enjoy this type of content. Don't forget to subscribe for more AI content in general and leave a comment down below. Are you using scheduled AI tasks? For anything, are you using it in Google? Are you using it in another AI platform? What are you using it for? Let me know in the comments below. Love to know what you guys are using this for on an everyday basis. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video. AI tools, AI news, AI prompts you can use. It's all for free. Just come and see at FranklinA.com where you're meant to be.